Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's a 2023 BMW 330i X-Drive sedan in jet black with no M Sport package. All right, so this is the 2023 BMW 330i X-Drive sedan without M Sport. So this is actually the first one I've seen and the first one I'm sharing with you uh, for the new 2023 LCI without the M Sport package. So I just wanted to take a chance and give you guys a tour of this vehicle because we haven't seen one yet. And uh, it's not often that we get these ones without M Sport, just based on customer demand. So I just wanted to take the time to show you what that looks like. And I have to say, it does look really good. Let's look at the closer details. Okay, so right off the bat, we do have the adaptive LEDs with the blue accent. So I'm just gonna hit unlock so you guys have a chance to see the welcoming sequence there, just like so. Let me just do that one more time. Beautiful, so that is the welcoming sequence for the headlights with these new inverted L-shaped uh, headlights with the blue accents there uh, for the new LCI design. And we'll notice without the M Sport bumper, we do have a little bit of a different design down here. So we've got uh, a functional air duct here with a sensor. Uh, got the lights off now, so yeah, there's not so much reflection, so you can actually see. We've got a place here for your front tow hook, lower grill area. And we do have the double slats this time on the LCI design, but we do not have the full blocked out kidney grill, which actually I think this looks really good the way that it is. And uh, this non-M Sport front bumper design actually looks really good. I don't have any complaints with the way that it looks. I thought the pre-LCI one looked a little bit strange with those triangular uh, ducts on the front and rear, but uh, I think this looks a lot better than the non-M Sport pre-LCI. And then when we come around to the side, we have 19 inch double spoke 793 individual wheels. So it says BMW individual on one of the spokes down here, which looks really neat. And uh, when we continue looking at all of this stuff here, so we do have a reflector on the front. We still have the same cutting body line in the front fender that continues along the bottom of the doors and swoops upwards, which looks really cool. <coughs> we have the jet black side mirrors with the integrated turn signal, black window surrounds, panoramic sunroof on the top there, and it's just uh, massive compared to the F bodies. We have the new style antenna there, which kind of looks like a doorstop to me. Other one looks like a shark fin. And follow these beautiful body lines all the way to the rear of the vehicle. And there are your rear tail lights. And look at that, we've got uh, some welcome light carpet that we can actually see. There's no rear spoiler on the trunk lid of this version of the 330 because it's not the M Sport. 330i badging, X-Drive badging, and this is the design of the rear bumpers. So it's interesting. We've got this square line here, and then we've got this cutting body line that has this interesting shape. Horizontal reflectors, and then we've got the exhaust tips down there, so those actually look really good because they have grown in size compared to the pre-LCI. And overall, the back end looks really nice as it always has, and I think those real terra lights look great. And then, let's continue looking at everything we've got here. So I'm actually just going to return to the back. So it's good to see that this option has been returning on some models coming in, so I'm just gonna kick my foot underneath the back and we can do that to open this trunk. We can't do it to close on this one, unfortunately, but uh, we can at least do it to open, which is more than what we've been getting recently. Carpeted floor mats in here, lots of space. We have a grocery bag hanger on this side, release levers to fold down the seats in a 60-40 split. And down here, uh, we've just got a little cubby here. And if I look over on the other side, so we have your replaced bolts in, like, in, in case you'd like to revert to a non-wheel lock key system. And down here, if I lift this panel up, there's your tow hook and there is also a wheel lock key down there as well. And then when we're done, 
Let me just put this all back. There's some handles up here so I can close this without touching the exterior of the vehicle. Now from the passenger side, we can see that this car was just tinted and that actually looks really good with everything being blacked out. So let me just touch the door handle so we do have comfort access on all four door handles. So if I open up that door, we can see that we've got the Decora Red Sensatec interior in here, which looks really cool. You have an ambient light on there. I've got it on Azure, which is blue. This is what the Takora Red seats look like from the inside. Uh, we've got some headrests that can flip up and down. And over here, we've got the center armrest with some cup holders. And at the top here, we've also got this pass through through the center as well. And if we look at the back of the seats, we've got some pockets on the back of each front seat. We have some vents on the back of the center console with uh, some rear climate controls and two USB Type-C charging ports. Vents underneath the front seats, pockets on the side doors. Overall looks really nice in here. Let's head towards the front part of the cabin. Alright, so we're approaching from the passenger front door. We can see the welcome light carpet down here. Light on the door handle. If I open that door, you'll see that we've got the aluminum BMW badging in here, which is nice. And we've got some red, Takora red door sills with some ambient light strips on the door. Power seat, Takora red seats in here. And we have high gloss black interior. Full curve display for iDrive 8. Down here, we do have a communication pad and wireless charger with USB and 12 volt plug and cup holders. New gear selector here. And we've got all the typical buttons that we've known to find here. So we've got traction off, park assist, engine start, stop off. We also have a start button, uh, sport, comfort, eco pro, auto hold, and we have electronic parking brake. And we have USB type C uh, inside of the center console with illumination. And in here, that's what it looks like in the glove box. Let's go over to the driver's side. All right, so let me approach from the driver's side. There's the welcome light carpet. I'm gonna open the front door here. And immediately we can see we've got some galvanic controls here for all of your locking, window controls, uh, side mirror controls, tailgate release. We have BMW aluminum door sill, full power seat with lumber on the driver's side. We also have this pull-out extension if you've got longer legs and you need more support there. We've got your exterior lighting controls here. We have hood release down here. There is iDrive 8, so let me just jump in the car for a moment so you guys can get a chance to see. So we have BC button here, automatic high beam button just over here on the side. And we have cruise control, left paddle, right paddle, all of your audio controls, but just like in every car that's got iDrive 8. So this button no longer is your media. Um, it will allow you to change what your contents are here. So we have the option for reduce, which will show a BMW logo with the speedometer. We have your trip computer. We have your route preview if you're navigating somewhere. And we have contents for map, G meter, and what music you're listening to. And then if I go to the right, then I can adjust the layout. So this is the comfort mode, so you can adjust the layout here. But you'll notice that if you go to sport, so I'll do that now. You only have the uh, option to adjust what content there is. The layout will always be in this focus layout, which means it's got that narrower uh, view. And if I hit eco, you'll always get the wider view and you can still have the same options for what is being laid out here. Now, if I scroll the wheel, this wheel here, uh, without pressing this three button menu button first, uh, it will bring up my audio controls here so I have access to Sirius XM and if I press the left button here then I'll be able to choose which form of media I want to listen to and then I can depress this button to actually make the selection so that's a little bit different than iDrive 7 uh, I've gotten used to it now but uh, it is a change now over here on the actual iDrive screen so uh, I'm gonna make a full iDrive 8 tour video on my M240i when I have a minute to do it um, but uh, we're gonna see all the stuff going on in that but I want to get out of the car now. But before I do that, I just want to actually start the car so you guys can see what it looks like on startup. 
So it shows the car, which is cool. It shows five seats and it shows that none of us have our seatbelt on. So that was something that did actually happen in iDrive 7 as well. And because we've got this current view on here, uh, I actually like um, the map view and I actually like it. Let me just go to comfort again. Uh, I also like putting the layout to this thing because it's odd and it gives you a bigger map view and you can only get this view on comfort. So uh, I've been using this lately. I think it's weird. I don't really like it, but I'm just using it because it's different and I want to try it out. So let's get out of the car. So if I press the stop button, that's what it looks like. And it says goodbye over there. Let's get out of the car. And I like that goodbye animation as well all right so I've just pulled the hood release so let's lift that up and there it is that is the b46 2 liter inline 4 twin power turbo this is outputting 255 horsepower 295 foot-pounds of torque uh, this is an absolute joy to drive with this engine I mean, not as powerful, of course, as the M340i, but ample amount of power, great fuel economy. We have positive battery terminal. We have negative battery terminal. We have washer fluid. What a great engine bay. All right, so that is my tour of this beautiful 2023 BMW 330i LCI X-Drive sedan, and this is without the M Sport package. Still looks fantastic. Uh, I know that there are certain, certain things to the M Sport package that people desire. Um, but, I mean, they're all just aesthetic for the most part. But the uh, car still looks really good, and I think the LCI non-M Sport personally looks better than the pre-LCI non-M Sport. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2023 BMW 330i X-Drive sedan uh, without M Sport in jet black. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the car, if you like the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.